Greetings, picky eaters! I really love instant noodles. Fried noodles, to be particular. So, I found four different kinds here at home. And I thought it would be great to find out which one's the best. What I like about it is that the noodles represent four different countries. We're gonna find out which country has the best instant noodles. So let's start, of course, we gotta go home grown, first and foremost. What is your favorite pancit canton? Me, it's, this is not sponsored by the way. It is Lucky Me's Sweet and Spicy Pancit Canton. Out of everything in the market so far that I've tried, I like this one the best. My flavor palette really likes a little bit of sweetness to go with the spiciness. I don't want either one to overpower the other. You know? So I find this to be the perfect balance. My favorite before used to be Pinoy Barbecue of Pansit Ni Mang Wan by URC, but they stopped making it. So this is the next closest thing. But before, the one of URC, the Pansit Ni Mang Wan Pinoy Barbecue flavor, if you guys remember that, that was the best. To my friends at URC, please, if you can bring that back, please do. I would be forever in your debt. Next is, this is from Indonesia, right? So, very popular, this Indomie Mi Goreng. You see, I bought a five pack. Yeah. Perfect with fried egg. I'm sure you guys know this is so popular. Really good, really good stuff. Also has that gentle kick to it without, you know, being too over. The next one I'm gonna try is a bit more expensive than the others, but guys, it's really good. Have you ever tried this beef bulgogi flavored fried noodles? Here's a catch though. Beef bulgogi, and if you look at the writing, if I'm not mistaken, this is Korean. But the company that made it is, is Chinese. Okay, but so what should it represent? Let's, let's stick with the cuisine. Beef bulgogi is Korean. So let's just say that this is Korean type of noodles. The sweet taste of Korean traditional bulgogi. I've tried this though and it, I, I love it. The next one I'm gonna try comes from the beautiful country of Japan. One of my favorite places to go. The next thing we're gonna try is one of their famous noodles. I have not tried this yet. It is called Sunaoshi Sapporo Fried Noodle Yakisoba Sauce. I do love me some yakisoba so I'm looking forward to trying this. Yes, I get the soda. Love it. This is what the packaging looks like. Have you guys tried this? So we're going to be trying these four types of noodles. And I'm going to do a blind taste test and figure out which one I like the most. I'm going to ask Nina and Ray to join in as well. And give it a try. All right, I'm here, guys, with Little Miss Rainbow. Hi. And we're going to be trying four types of noodles. Rain over here really loves noodles. She loves a ton of noodles. Spoiler alert, she does love noodles. She's aware that this is a little bit spicy. It's okay with her because she has her juice ready, right babe? Yeah, I'm trying noodle egg. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Is it good? Yeah. Is it spicy? Not spicy at all? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah? Yummy? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. It is a bit spicy. But is it yummy? Seems like that was very spicy. But did you like it? I like it. Is it too spicy? A little bit. This one is noodle How was the last one? Um, a bit very spicy. So it's very spicy. It was too spicy for you. Yeah, it was too spicy. Okay, so which one was your favorite among the four that you tried? That one? The first one? Yeah. Okay, so you like the first one. 
Is this Japanese? It's Japanese because you love Jap Japanese stuff. Hey, I just remember. Where are the Japanese? Okay. Good job, dude. Okay, my turn. So, the thing is, since I've tried all of them, I'm fairly certain I can figure out which one's which. But, it doesn't matter. This really was, the blind taste test was really for Rita and Randy. But I am very excited to try this one, the first one, because it was Ray's favorite. You wanna, I'll save this one for you, the yeah. leftover? Yeah, the leftover is all yours, dude. Okay, we're trying the first one. Mm. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. It's good. It's got that nice sweetness, a bit of the soy. I'm pretty sure this is the yakisoba. It's got that yakisoba flavor. I was hoping for it to be a bit stronger, just a little bit stronger, but on the whole, it's really it's good. Mm. Right is right, no spiciness at all. What do you think of it? I like it. I like it very much. So I'm going to try the second one. Again, because of my familiarity with the product, I'm pretty sure I know which one this is. Nonetheless, I'm gonna go dig in. Mm -hmm. I like this noodle a lot. I like the a lot. Both these two have a nice balance of sweetness and barely anything. Let's try noodle C, Rain, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm, this one is very, very familiar. I eat this often. I like it with pandesal, really hot pandesal. You butter your pandesal or a toast bread. Pile it on top of your toast bread with butter. It's not as spicy. If you guys are worried that we won't be able to finish these noodles, you are sorely mistaken. And the last, noodle D. Mm. Mm. The heat is stronger than this one. Then the sweet and spicy. <laughs> But at the same time, the flavor of the noodles, less processed. This one, because as much as I love lahini, you can kind of tell when it's instant. The indomie isn't as strong processed as it is with the others, no? If you were to ask me what my favorite is, I'm gonna go with the beef bulgogi. I really love it. Sweeter. So Rain likes the yakisoba, and I like the beef bulgogi. Let's see what Rina thinks. I'm gonna try noodle A. You find it spicy, you find it sweet, too sweet, to get yeah, it? Yeah. you find it too bland. Okay. Okay, next. I like this better. May hint of sweet. No, no, see. I don't care. I don't know. Okay. I know. I think I know all the right. This is more pero for me, for some reason, it's more This is my far favorite because I sweetness of This one, okay. Lang. Yes. Okay. 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 this one, Okay. 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 Sarap naman, pero my choice is this one. Let's see. Ah, of course, <laughs> yung Korea. Uh, Rain, your turn. It's got it's in my blood. Sarap. So Rain's favorite was the yakisoba. Rina and I agreed that the beef bulgogi was the best tasting one. However, it is also important to take note that it's the most expensive one as well. If this is like, what, 10, 12 bucks or something like that, this one is what, 15? I'm not sure how much this one is. But this pack was like 65 pesos. So, when it comes to instant noodles, it's a little bit expensive. But you can tell kung bakit naman. Sarap siya talaga. The Lucky Meal is good. You can na yung pang tawid, di ba? Indomie also very good if you want a stronger kick of um, spiciness. This one, man, even though Rina didn't like it, I, I kind of agree with her that it lacked the, the the tangy yakisoba taste that I was looking for. Nandun siya, pero 
kulang eh, di ba? And also because siya yung pinaka may color, you would expect it as the most mm -hmm. So baka pwedeng dagdagan ng soy sauce or something like that to make it stronger. But Rainbow really likes it to the point na she doesn't want to shoot anymore because she wants to eat it <laughs> left over, right? So anyway, there. Have you guys? Have any of you guys tried these noodles? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Which one is your favorite? All right. Thanks, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Very good, Sita. All right. Rainbow has a channel also, Little Miss Rainbow. So please do check it out. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.